WrestleMania weekend is officially over. And as a kid that grew up in love with the game, I was so honored to be here. I am joined by Becky Lynch. I am joined by Mark Raymondi, one of the greatest minds in all of professional wrestling. What are you guys' immediate thoughts, immediate thoughts as we just finish up night two? If I'm shaking, it's because I've got chills from, from all the feels of WrestleMania, but it's also freezing here. I think there was an amazing WrestleMania from start to finish. We started yesterday uh, with John Cena versus Austin Theory, and all the way through, it just kept leveling up. It just got better and better, Mark. How are you feeling? I think an all-time great WrestleMania, guys. And the thing that I love the most about this WrestleMania is that not as many bells and whistles, which I, I like those too, but it was all about the wrestling. It was great storytelling, it was great wrestling, and the wrestling stood for itself. Not as many celebrities, not as many legends. I like them too, but this one was about the wrestling, and I, and I just love this WrestleMania. Well, it was built as one of the greatest WrestleManias of all time, or the greatest WrestleMania of all time, and it absolutely delivered. It delivered in part to the main event tonight. Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes were promised to give us a fantastic matchup, a great main event. They delivered, Decky Lynch. They absolutely delivered. And uh, there were so, so many moments in there when I thought the title was going to change hands, but it didn't. And especially when Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn came to the rescue, I thought that was it for Roman. He was going to be done. But no, no, the tribal chief still remains on top of the mountain. Mark, you know, many on the inside thought tonight was the night that it ended for Roman Reigns. If you took predictions from the people like yourself that have been around the business for a long time, Many believe that Roman's time had come. Cody Rhodes had all the momentum. But once again, the Tribal Chief just does what the Tribal Chief does, and he holds on to the titles. Well, Cody's slogan this whole time was finish the story, finish the story. Guess what? There's more story to come. This story is not over. The bloodline story is not over. It's, the reign continues. It's, uh, you know, almost at a, at a thousand days now with Roman Reigns as the undisputed WWE champion. And... That's going to go on. It's, it's a little bit of a shot to everyone, but yeah. let's, see, let's see what happens next. Maybe there's a rematch. There was some shenanigans, as Becky mentioned, with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn clearing the Usos. So Sokoa in a hoodie comes out and helps Roman Reigns get the win. The, the Tribal Chief is, is still the man. I just think that... Hey, what did you just say? I apologize. The, tri hey, the Tribal Chief is no, a man. Hey, you better not He's the head of the table, but he is not the man, no, because the man sitting is sitting to, to my right. Exactly. I apologize. I apologize, Becky. Big time Becky Lynch. Guys, That's right. you could tell that the story's not complete because of all the outside interference, because now it's more than just Rhodes, Reigns. It's the bloodline versus Rhodes, Reigns, and Sammy. I know it started, but it seems as though it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Let's pop back over to main event of night number one, where we talk about that tag team match. Those guys really did lay it on the line, didn't they, Becky? Oh, they did, they did. If you saw me afterwards, I was a blubbering mess. I've known those guys for... Uh, since I was 19 years old. Really? Yeah, we wrestled in in, in in front of less than 100 people in Italy. We toured together. I love those guys. They're like brothers to me. And, and to know everything that they've been through, both individually and together, and especially recently, to see them walk out in the main event of WrestleMania as champions, as double champions, oh, oh it just brought, it brought many tears to my eyes. Yeah, it was amazing. And Mark, that was another one of those situations where we kind of expected, right? You almost expected that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn would become the champions. But I think that showed, even though you may feel like you know the outcome, it can still be as good as you ever could hope for. Sometimes the predictable outcome is the right outcome, right? Because Sami Zayn finally beating the bloodline in some respect is cathartic for the fans. After what we've, we've seen for the last nine months to a year of Sami Zayn and Roman Reigns and the Usos and Solo, Finally, Sami Zayn gets one over on the bloodline. And now the question is, how does Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, not the man, how does he deal with the Usos, who are now no longer the champions? Is Solo Sokoa held in higher favor in the bloodline than the twins? Well, there are a lot of questions that got to be answered about the bloodline. And as you know, the last year or so, the WWE, or a couple years, has been dominated by the bloodline. And it showed, because the bloodline was the main event on two straight nights at WrestleMania. The work that these guys have done has been tremendous, but it wasn't just about them. Last night, Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair had an absolute banger. What a physical match between these two women, and now Rhea Ripley is the champion. Yes, she is. She is the champion. She is one of 
the greatest female wrestlers I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow. She's she's a natural. She's a star. She is mesmerizing to watch. She is uh, she's the future of of the wrestling business, I think. But I can't wait to beat her for that title one day. Becky, that's very high praise for someone that we consider you the best female wrestler in the world. I've watched you compete time and time again and feel like there's not many that can go with you. But to say that about Rhea Ripley, that speaks a lot to what you did get a new champion. Well, my, my time is going to come here one, one of these days. But Rhea, Rhea has a lot of time left. And I'm very excited what she is going to do for the women's division on SmackDown. I think, I think it needs a, a fresh coat of paint. And, and I couldn't think of a better fresh coat of paint than Rhea Ripley. Mark, the match started a tad bit slow, but boy, when it got going, it went from zero to 100 real quick. And I'm not Drake, eh, but I can't rap, you know, but it went from zero to 100 <laughs> real quick last night, Mark. We're gonna sort of circle back on that, on that rap line, DC, but <laughs> I mean, it started, it started slow, but man, it just got so physical and hard hitting. And the suplex, and Charlotte Flair landing on her head, she's bleeding from the bridge of her nose. I mean, it was just a, it was a, I thought it was an all-time great, not not women's WrestleMania yes. match, an all-time great WrestleMania match, period. And, and to piggyback on what Becky said, I think Rhea Ripley, as a future face of, of the women's division, not the face, because there is still the man here, but one of the future faces, absolutely, she's a star, 100%. Mark, Bianca versus Asuka tonight, all the submission attempts, all the physical power on display by the EST, what a match it was between those two. Is that what you expected? Absolutely. Tremendous entrance by Bianca with the Divas of Compton I dance that. group. That was so awesome. She's so strong. She's such a star in her, in her own right. And they followed that amazing triple threat match with, with Gunther, Sheamus, and Drew McIntyre where they beat the ever-living, you know, one out of each other. And they, and they did just as well as that match, which I thought was the match of the night to that point. It was very hard to live up to what happened right before these two women. But boy, did they put on a show. Becky Lynch, how good was your weekend? You were able to compete with two legends in a game and get a victory. How exciting was it to walk out here in this WrestleMania and perform in the way that you did? Oh, it's surreal. It's surreal to be walking in with my, my teenage idol yeah. as tag team champions. And uh, although we didn't defend our titles, which I would have loved to, especially here at WrestleMania, it, it was amazing that we got to, to walk down with Trish Stratus. And Lita hadn't had a WrestleMania match in 21 wow. years. And how great were they? This, they were great. this isn't easy. It's not easy when you when you don't do this week in, week out like we do, and to be able to come back like they have without skipping a beat is just incredible. And I, I never got to see them perform live in person when I was a fan. And so 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 while I was watching on the apron, I, I, I felt like teenage me would have would have lost her mind. You know? WrestleMania Hollywood is what it was, and you guys did some acting. You were Batman. I Seth was Batman. the Joker. <laughs> I mean, that was one of my most favorite moments. All the, the the features that they had of you guys just showing off your talents. Give me one last moment that stands out to you about the weekend, Mark. Oh, man. I mean, there were so many amazing moments. I can't, I mean, John Cena coming back, Austin Theory, uh, of course, a big win. How about uh, how about KSI being oh. in the, uh, the prime drink mascot and then getting put through a table by his business partner, Logan Paul, courtesy of a, of a guy who's Staying out too far to my left to hear Seth Rollins. That was a great match, and uh, that was a really, really fun WrestleMania moment. Same yeah. question for you, Beck. It's always terrible to follow my husband. It's always yeah. terrible. He's fantastic. Um, I think his entrance, oh, I'm going to pick his entrance as my number one, only because I, get, I must have been emotional this weekend or something. I don't know <laughs> why performing in front of 80,000 fans can do that to you. Um, it brought tears to my eyes. Yeah. It brought tears to my eyes just hearing the, the, the audience and seeing the conductor yeah. getting everybody going. It, and then he comes out looking the way he came out. Amazing. Incredible. 80,000 singing that song. You know, Seth, for me, was my moment outside of those two fights, two matches, because he needed a victory and he got it. Yeah. In a big moment, he needed a win because he's so good. He doesn't have to win, no. right? He doesn't need wins to sustain his star power. He doesn't need wins to stay at the top of the card. But it's always good when you get one, especially in a big moment. So to come out with the drippy drip in the pink top, <laughs> he, that for me was my moment, obviously, knowing Seth it also was fantastic. But guys, it was great to be out here in Hollywood. It was great to be in Los Angeles. 
for WrestleMania. I'm a kid that grew up loving this. So to be a part of it, I think ESPN and everybody else, I think everyone that has sat with me this week, all the interviews, everybody that sat at the desk, it has been tremendous to me. Until next year, guys, keep tapping into what these guys are doing. Follow Becky Lynch. She's fun. She's everything you want to see whenever you're tuning in. Guys, I'm Daniel Cormier. That's Mark Raimondi. That's Becky Lynch. Until next time, peace. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.